Okay, hey, what's happening, guys? Welcome to the review of Pulp Fiction. Uh, my name is Chad, and I'm your host today, and my co-host is... Ariana, hi! Yeah, so, Ariana, <laughs> what did you think of the film? Give it, what's, your, what's your quick initial thoughts? It was really good. Yeah. Quick initial thoughts, super good. Mm -hmm. I thoroughly enjoyed it. It was wild. I expected none of it. But right. yet somehow all of it at the same time. Oh, that's interesting. That's interesting. Yeah. <laughs> no, actually, there, there's how do you how do you even right. come, start to predict some of the shit that went on there? Absolutely. What's your history with uh, Quentin Tarantino? I've seen some stuff, but I feel like I've never seen anything the whole way through besides like the newer stuff, like the super sure. newer stuff, because I've been mm -hmm. old enough to like. I grew up in a PG household. Like there was no PG thirteen, <laughs> there was no rated R. So like yeah, yeah. that stuff did not come across me. Like I couldn't watch MTV growing up. So, yeah, so me like too, yeah. uh, so the newer ones I've been able to watch since I've been older. Like I've seen like so like Django. But I think that's all I've seen. Yeah, sure. Though. Okay, and Glorious Bastards maybe. No. No. Okay. I've never then, seen Glorious Bastards. And as newest as Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, that was Haven't like seen a couple it. years. Okay. Cool. 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 <laughs> all right. Um, well, Django's great. Thought about seeing um, it. Well, then that means you're familiar with his uh, love of the N word. <laughs> which... The whole okay. So <laughs> off the bat, I'm like, damn, there is a lot of racist. <laughs> like, there's a lot of racist. Like the, his whole the um homies opening monologue is just like yeah, yeah, yeah. Like calls everyone in the kitchen. Like calls the bus boy a wet bag yeah. and like everything else. it was like yeah. all like so she yeah. was like the old man the jewish i was like okay all right yeah we're Tar gonna get past this I tarantino's guess. influences where he was in love with like uh the grittiness of movies from the 70s okay yeah, and yeah. he felt like in the 80s is when a lot of movies kind of took a backseat to a lot of that and tried to calm down and be a little bit yeah. more kind of like you know uh, media friendly um so that was a big part of his thing of like trying to like keep that flair of like right. you know just people just said and just did whatever yeah. in those movies so um okay let's get into it all right, so the movie opens up with Pumpkin and Honey Bunny. Do you have any thoughts about that whole initial setup there? Um, it was good storytelling. It was a good mm -hmm. opening scene, I would say. I feel like it kind of really sets that, like, you know going into this, like, it's going to be a really, like, crime-driven movie to a degree of some type. Like, it gives you that opening, cause especially when he's going on and on about how they have been, like, robbing and doing that stuff and the liquor stores and everything else. So I feel like you know that you're getting into something like that. Yeah. So I think it's it set up the story really well. This movie will be about the CD underbelly. Yeah. Yeah. I also love just his little speech. Like it makes sense. Yeah, it it's makes like, complete sense. I, I, I'm like, okay, yeah. <laughs> you're like, oh, yeah. I'm like, why doesn't anyone rob? I, I'm not gonna <laughs> like. I'm definitely like been a bartender for years and someone came in i'm just gonna give you the money i'm not fighting you i i, I don't yeah. care take the money he's like no heroes no. there's a huge amount of just cash on hand yeah. he's like you go to a convenience store the guy's got a shotgun and there's right. only a hundred dollars available it's like yeah. yeah it totally makes sense you, you don't find out till the very end of the movie oh that's why you don't yeah, yeah that's exactly <laughs> that's, why you don't right that's what's going yeah. on yeah so i i thought it said i think it set up really 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 well mm -hmm. and it's especially it like establishes the fact that it was obviously going to be in parts kind of mm -hmm. yeah yeah. yeah. And it also establishes the tone of like, we are here to listen to people talk. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Which is interesting for being a very talking movie. It's also a very, um, a lot does actually happen. Oh, yeah, for sure. So if they wanted to focus more on it being action oriented and less about dialogue, then you could. But this movie was like, it's very, yeah. we are we are here to hear people's <laughs> thoughts on things. And I, these... lo I love that part of it, though. Well, and it's one of the things I think I love about him as a writer is that he's got this really good penchant for, uh, penchant for, characters have extremely strong opinions about things yes. very quickly and so it's a very good shorthand for knowing what people are all about without right. having to have a bunch of character development um so even side characters normally if you hear them say anything mm -hmm. if, if they don't say much they have a very strong opinion right. about something. and you yeah. may totally disagree with them but a very strong opinion yeah. it's very good for like world building all right so next one we set up is jules and vince uh yes. samuel L. jackson and then mr uh, uh travolta um on their way to a hit kind of getting to talk a little bit yeah um and learning that they basically this person who ends up controlling kind of the um the central part of the whole story which is marcellus wallace yes. everything kind of connects to yes. him and so they work for him they're doing a hit and also vincent's gonna have mm -hmm. to take his wife out later what do you think about those scenes oh my god just their whole banter in the car and leading up to the door and that when they're like what time is it? 7.55. We're too early. <laughs> and they walk away and they're still continuing the conversation. And it was so funny because while they're having the conversation, I like I picked up they were clearly going to do a hit. But yeah. like while they're having this conversation, though, I'm like, yo, but homie's got a point. <laughs> like, like I do see where he's coming. Like, that is like, I don't wouldn't want like a guy I was just friends with to touch my feet. Granted, right. I don't want anybody to touch my feet. Right. But still, I wouldn't 
let like just a guy who's my friend touch my feet. Yeah, like yeah. that is in a familiar way. You're right. right. But then he's like, but is it throw him out? I'm like, I'm not saying throw him out the windows the right choice, but because he's like, like, it's not even the same yes. ballpark. It ain't the it's same league. Game. It's, it's not the same game. sport. But I, like, but I was like, his rebuttal. I was like, the whole time you're thinking about, it, you're like, yes, I, I see both sides of this. But then Vince so, is like, <laughs> would you rub a man's feet? And then, yeah, like when he says that, he's oh, like, no. oh, you're fucked up. And he's like, yeah, but you're right. You're Check not me. gonna do that. Check me. You're he's not right. gonna do that. Oh my god. Yeah. So it's now it's so setting great. up though that Vince is like quite nervous yeah. because it's like I I don't even know what it means like take care of her while I'm. It's not a date. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like she can't hang out at home. Yeah. (laughs) Why I got to take her out? Yeah, exactly. Um, And we have the probably the most famous line in the entire movie is, you know what they call a quarter pounder (laughs) with cheese in France? And so it's the Royale with cheese. (laughs) So, yeah. So then they go and they deal. They they do their their hit. Take it out on poor bread over here. Yes, exactly. And that kickstarts the MacGuffin of the movie, which is this briefcase. Yeah. And that becomes the other central care figure kind of through this movie is this, you know, trying to acquire this briefcase. Mm -hmm. Um, Okay. Yeah. So then we we make a hard cut kind of you know cutting off that scene and what the rest happens and we get into butch ah uh, butch yeah bruce what by the way this cast is insane no it's good i was literally leaving like reading the character list because a very long intro and it i was is, like yeah. damn everyone's and all in the this. introductions everybody like, everyone's right? in this and it's cool too because some of them were in kind of the twilight years of some of their careers i mean uma thurman ah. wasn't really doing a whole heck of a lot at the time and neither was um uh John Travolta, because he was hot after like Saturday Night Fever. Oh yeah, yeah. But getting into this movie was when he started moving into his like "Look Who's Talking" kind right, of time right, right, period. Right, right. And so he was like, the, his producers told him like, "Don't get him. Like he's not a good pick or whatever." Yeah. Um. So it's interesting looking back and seeing how huge everyone you right. know, was post this and trying to think who was actually you know I I don't know if like how much I would have known Ving Rhames at the time who plays Marcellus Wallace you know like but oh, yeah. now I know him. It's like yeah. it's just that kind of stuff's really interesting. Um. So that sets up like you know. Butch has got this serious chip on his shoulder. Oh, yeah. And um, we mostly established between the two of them that what happened is Marcellus has paid him off, like bribed him to throw a fight. Absolutely. That's I was like, oh, so he's going to throw the fight. Like, yeah. okay, cool. Right, right, but right. I also, what intrigued me about that scene, though, too, was I when he said, called him punchy, and he like looked mad. And yeah. I was like, what? But he also looked confused about why mm-hmm. Vincent had a problem. And I still have wasn't able to tie that in. I actually forgot about it because so much more happened. Well, you do. I know. I think I, <laughs> I completely forgot about it. I think I it. forgot that they had already met each other once. Um, until like the next time i saw it uh butch and vince meet each other yeah, yeah. and yeah and he's you know he doesn't like him and vince is also wearing the clothes that he's wearing yeah. back tw- by the way i don't know if you caught that that's tarantino himself yes, who's yes, the guy. Yeah. yeah so it's it's tarantino's clothes he's wearing yeah. so then you realize like oh so that actually happens after so that's like that night yeah. after he killed you know uh, marvin on accident and stuff so um so that's mostly just to kind of introduce what happens there because the payoffs for that end up being a huge deal but yeah. right at the moment it just seems kind of like a throwaway mm-hmm. thing and he gives his little speech about, you know, you're going to feel that sting, you know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's pride. Um, and so then we get to Vince actually taking me out. So basically, those were all the setup yeah. scenes. Now we're going to all the payoff scenes. Yeah. And so, yeah, how'd you, uh, how'd you take uh, the date? <laughs> okay, A, I don't do needles. Yeah, right. And there's so much oh, needle yeah, work going yeah. on. Like, when he's buying the heroin, I was like, Ugh. Uh. I was like, can it just, like, can we just, like... Can we fast forward? No, we gotta, we gotta get it all. I, like, right, oh, right, I get it. He's right. on heroin. I don't need to yeah, see the shoot yeah. up scene. Okay, fine, cool. <sighs> moving on. So he's high as fuck, which I also found the dynamic of that that scene too, and that setup really good. It's like she's doing lines of coke upstairs, right. and he, he's high as shit. And how they both acted differently, like sitting in the dynamic while they're at dinner, mm-hmm. was actually really cool. I because when she stares at him before she gets up to go to the bathroom, I think she, I feel like she was. I felt like she was about to call him on being fucked up. You know oh, what I mean? Because right, there's right, like right. the whole time, like when she's like messing with the chair, but like she's literally like taking him all in, essentially. You know what I mean? Like, or it comes across that way. Yeah, I feel it. Anyway, yeah. so the dynamic. So she goes back in, does more, comes back out. They have their dancing scene, which I was just like, this is so random. Yeah, well, <laughs> I think like, they're taking it so seriously too. Like, it wasn't for a good time. It was to win. Yeah, she really <laughs> like, was like, well, I want I, that trophy. I, I want that trophy. So you better oh, dance win. well. Yeah, like <laughs> I love too that like they actually have real chemistry. Yeah, like I was oh, like for rooting sure. for them. There's it's a, so a lot, sad. There's a lot of like <laughs> I said that. Too. I was like, there's a lot of chemistry. I was like, oh, right. she, she has ill intentions. Like, she looks a little, tr- like, trouble. You get it's people like, thrown out a fucking window anyway. Yeah. God damn it, Mia. It's so tough because you're like, like, okay, Vincent, like, I'm on your team. Just, like, yeah. play it cool. Don't do anything yeah. weird. But then you're well, like, oh, I kind of ship these two. Yeah, They're so like, fun together. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, I'm enjoying their conversation. It's like, yeah. it's, it's like first date banner that you don't hate like when you know you click with somebody because it's yes, not the yeah. worst shit of all time oh, yeah, that you're talking yeah. about mm-hmm. that's how i felt with them and he like really portrayed that well yeah but then they get back and then 
Yeah, so that whole scene in itself in that show, and I like, I watched her, I was like, I looked at her, I was like, you're, you're about to do her his drugs. You don't know what drugs those are. Rude. Like, <laughs> rude. Stop it. rude. You didn't ask. <laughs> and you don't know what about to be. And right. so when she, I was like, oh no, she's about to do it. She's about, ah! And I was like, ah! That's why it gets you so hyped because they did such a good job. Even yeah. when she goes to the bathroom to powder her yeah. nose and God damn. Or what did yeah. she say? I said God, God damn. damn. Yeah. <laughs> I love that line. Also, um, I just love how everyone around her looked more on drugs than her. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, it's like, and like no one's making batting an eyelash out of that. It's that, that like was a Miami great in the 80s yeah, kind of. Yeah, it was, like, a gr- just, it was yeah, a great, whatever. that was fantastic. <laughs> I love that and so then, much. So, oh my God. So then when she's like bleeding and oh, oh my God, when it cuts back to her face and she's got like the foam, I was like dying. I was like, I can't. Mm-hmm. I was like, can we? Come on, I. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Well, what happened and to I'm a guy so potentially for rubbing her feet? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I killed his okay. wife. I was like stressed to like, get it, and then and then we bring out the larger needle. Oh yeah. And I'm like, yes, yes, uh, yes, can yes. we just uh, do this so much faster? Uh, the horse needle it goes in her oh, heart. God. Oh my goodness. And oh, the noise! It's oh, the noise it's of it. I was like, uh. yeah. It sounds okay. like it went into like a plastic box. It's yeah. just oh, it's so like, awful. In, oh my god, the joke was great. Yeah, uh, the, the, how they've tied that in. Like, I'll tell you the joke. Yeah, catch up. <laughs> oh god, that was just rough. It's great and too. Then... She's like, "Well, you won't laugh because it's not funny." Yeah. Everyone laughs. Like, yeah. I think partly too because you're so tense, you yeah. needed a joke. You're like, right. please, <laughs> like, just give me a and joke. And then I just thought that was funny. And then just like the end of it, like, oh, I'm gonna be in more trouble. Like, okay, well, <laughs> like I doubt that. <laughs> yeah, I'm moving on, and then so that finishes up kind of what Oof. he had to do. He survives. Yeah you know closely yes. of his thing and then we really get into a lot of the meat like i think mm-hmm. butch maybe has one of the longest segments he does, when we get to this for one for sure so first we set up him as a kid with chris walken what do you think of oh that my scene? god so i was i was like oh my god that's so heartbreaking i've done all the war movies before like what a good story it's just been passed down to them. and then it stayed up his ass for three years or, or seven and then years i had to put it in my ass. And then i had to put it in my ass and i'm dying laughing i was like it's, and he's I'm so dying. matter of fact yeah, about yeah, it. He's like, so matter of fact about it. Like he doesn't and understand that's strange. Yours. <laughs> no, it's yours. So I was like, oh god. Now it can go in your ass. Oh shit. But then it's so great because you think he's gonna be like disgusted, but like no, yeah. it's his most it's cherished yeah. object. Yeah. yeah. And then he's with his like Ooh. French girly or whatever, and they're uh, like again, they talk forever. Well, also, None of it was, matters. That was the crazy part to me too, was because he's dead, and I was like, wait. Because I knew it was very obvious that you wanted him to take a fall. It's the only way you can control a fight is yeah, to lose. Yeah. You can't go in there saying you're, you can't guarantee a win. Absolutely, right. But yeah. you can guarantee a lose. Yeah, 100%. You know? So I was like, oh, so he's definitely going to fight. So then it was like, it backtracks. And he's like, the man's dead. I'm like, the man's fucking, was he supposed to kill him? Not- I was like, and then I was like, no. And then it turns out and Marcellus is all pissed and everyone's like in there and stuff. And he was like, oh, Butch took off, all this other stuff, like shake down his trainer. And it's like. Oh motherfucker, you fought hard, and then it yeah. turns out that you scammed him because you wanted you. Everyone knew that you were going to throw this right. fucking uh-huh. fight. Yo, yeah. you're Big dirty. Balls. I was like, you're doing some slimy shit with some people you don't fuck with. Not, like, what are the, you doing? Not the people. Well, he even says too. What? Yeah. He's like, if he's in Indochina, I want you to hop out of a rice bowl. Like, like, yeah, I was <laughs> these are not dead. the guys. I was like. <gasps> okay. No, I don't know. So that's that like, shit. That's his pride thing, though. Like he does have I will like say, an insane though, amount of pride. Every single female lead in this movie has a fucking terrible haircut, though. Yeah, they all have like the bowl cut. Like, yeah, girls. Sh- and I noticed it at the end because I really wasn't paying attention. Like, so Uma um, can kind of rock her. She can because yeah. she has sharp features. Right, it's kind of like, cute. Uh, the bowl cut on. Oh, how do you say? Her? What's her name? Which one? The French lady. Oh, I don't remember. Oh, okay. I don't even remember her name. <laughs> I just watched a movie and I can't remember. It's like right. Jay or something. I, I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, and then... No, hers um, is rough. And then the... The heroin uh, dealer's wife bunny. is probably the worst. Oh, yeah. <laughs> She's got like a mullet. Honey, honey Bunny's hair. It's like the back of it. It's just like, I'm like, God oh, damn, yeah. girl. But anyway... Terrible but so, hair. I mean, to be fair, the guys aren't great. I mean, like, yeah. Jules has, like, an a awful Jerry girl. Uh, what is Yo, it? Yeah. Vincent has, like, yeah, the ugly it's, it's slick back. Bad hair. It's a lot of pretty it's rough hair in this movie. So... But then, so, like, yeah, that whole scene of them being in the hotel room, like, until you get to the watch scene, I'm like, that's fucking so yeah. much happening that's pointless. So yeah. his freak out with the watch scene, I was like, you, all I could think of, because I, like, <sighs> been on been on the dark side of TikTok. No, but it's like, <laughs> like, when grown men get angry, they, like, punch a wall, and it's yeah, like, yeah. it's just a grown Kyle man thing, hissy yeah. fit. It's just, like, grown man hissy fit. Right. Call it what it is. It's a man, he's, he can't yeah. control his emotions. Yeah, he's yeah. not calm. He's over-emotional. And he doesn't have the tools to handle it. So he just throws the TV, and that's all I can think of. I was like, you're having a grown man hissy fit, man. So it's So when it he comes true. over and is nicer, and then he's like, it's yeah, not your yeah, yeah. And then she uses the car. He's like, the only thing I wanted. I was like, I was like, I don't know how to feel in this scene because I kind of want her to have not forget you overreacted. But also, like, I understand why you're upset. But also, you did slimy shit. This is fucking karma. But I'd also like, say, too, that the stakes, I feel like, 
are are at least appropriate to his response like if yeah. it was just him being mad about something then that's whatever but like literally yeah. people are here to kill him and um the watch is like his dad carried totally in his ass it, so still. i'm just at least saying that like it, at least it wasn't a hissy fit over like something dumb no. it's like no the stakes are actually it. at like the, the appropriate only thing level you mean. but also my whole thing is like you weigh your options i get it it's your most cherished mm possession i yeah, do yeah. but you know going back to that oh my god that he makes me so mad the fucking time don't fucking make your ass a pop tart get the <laughs> fuck out of the apartment yeah. i was so mad i was like you look <sighs> out you yeah. look out you see the gun just go yeah. and then he pops yeah, out and yeah, then yeah, like yeah. you see it click though he's like i hate this guy and then he shoots him so that was kind of cool and i'm like also, well even just seeing the gun yeah, he's the like gun. what oh, wait a second and then yeah. you hear the toilet flush but I love how I talked to him. He's like, good job, Butchie. Let me get some breakfast. No, you I leave. Know, right? yeah, yeah. You just leave. Yeah, get out of there. Oh it doesn't mean that they won't be here in one second. No, exactly. You know, yeah. So like him getting shot. That's so funny. And then uh, also I love how they tie that back in again too. It's like, you're taking another shit, bro. <laughs> so I was going to bring that I up because that. this comes up. Basically yeah. every time he uses the bathroom is when something horrible goes yes. down. So that happens when Mia takes the, yep. the, the heroin. Uh-huh. It happens when he gets shot with yep. Butch. And it happens in the diner yep. at the end, which we're about to get to. Um, so it's funny. Every time. <laughs> into like pro- like public essentially Every like time, bathrooms yeah. like do that at your house or get it's some fine. fiber situation yeah. figured out because obviously he takes too long in the bathroom yeah you're taking way too long there's too much shit to um and but this so then he ends up so that's oh, yeah. what i mean it's a so long then, scene yeah. because so then, anyone else's story would have been over at that exactly. point exactly so then but we keep going you go and then Mm-hmm. <laughs> what in the back fucking wood shit also I was like you motherfucker hits up the car don't expect yep. that and then he hits another car and he's crashed then they're crashed and then they're going past each other they end up in this random shot and yeah. it's like the pawn shop <laughs> oh my god spiders got two flies I was like what the fuck oh, is yeah. this and again, no, and I'm, I literally think I say in my action, what in the backwoods? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Zed. <laughs> Zed? <laughs> like, get the gimp. He was like, oh, the, the gimp's sleeping. He's like, well, you better wake him up. <laughs> I just, I don't even, I, I, honestly, I'm just not a fan of any type of rape scene. It just, you like, know, yeah, it, me neither. It, it just, it's not for me. But that shit hurt on another Marcel. Was like, you don't talk. And I was like, respect. Out you go, bitch. Well, like, and kicking off earlier with the whole, like, you know, does Marcellus Wallace look like a bitch? bitch? Well, why did you try to fuck him? Like, which, yeah. by the way, great line. Yeah, Super also. great line. Um, but, Jules uh, has most of the best dialogue in the movie. He, he does. It's, oh, Samuel so Jackson. So they needed so something great. that was going to be so big of a deal for Marcellus that he would be able to drop the thing with yeah, him and Butch. And so sense. I think and that gets I just, that like, point. I have to say, like, having Butch be able to walk away from that whole scenario right. was great. Wasn't that great? Like, yeah. It was good because I, I was agree. like, dude, if you're going to get caught, you're fucked. Like, mm-hmm. just go. So the fact that somehow it comes around and like, good on Butch for turning around and helping him out. That's too. what I say, right? Because he didn't have to. He could have been long gone. You know like what you I said, mean? He like, is scummy and he does, you know, yeah, he's rude he's to his girlfriend slimy, and stuff. But and I think so, yeah. it kind of shows that he has a little bit more honor. Yes. You know what I mean? Like, right. he's trying to like, be like, like his forefather, like his great grandfather, it like kind of be a hero in a time. You know, what I mean, he's not in war. So he this sees is like himself his as a warrior, it. I think. Yes, right, and him to take himself like mm-hmm. and put himself in those shoes and earn his keep, essentially Absolutely in right. his lineage, and then head out. So yeah, and it's kind of cool. it, like you said, a sense of honor, which can be yeah. connected to a sense of self pride, mm-hmm. which is the same thing with like I'm not going to throw the fight. You right. know, I I almost wonder if he was offended by the idea of someone asking him to throw a fight, right. and so that's why he's like, fine, I'm going to turn this around on you guys. It's also a dude telling him like, hey, uh, you won't last long. You can't. Bye. Yeah. Too. Right, That's yeah. also like it was very which is gonna make you wonder do i still got it yeah absolutely and you're gonna <laughs> yeah. do whatever the fuck you want and then he kills the dude so that, and so, that was also wild it fun says, fact yeah. also the last thing that happened in the movie is yeah. uh him driving away with honey bunny in the in the if you were to watch everything in timeline order that's the last event of the day that would have taken place oh of him but, butch and him getting away where she's okay. like hey where you know whose bike is a zed's where who's zed zed's dead babe zed's dead oh, yeah, like yeah, that yeah. would be the last thing to happen in the film it's yeah, not the last I, thing that that's happened. why i was like and then it came to another scene it like says like uh the bonnie scene and i was like that's not the end yeah right I was right so confused. it does I was feel like, like it well especially because like, he was so long he yeah. feels almost like oh maybe this guy's like the main yeah. character so then the body scene was cool the wolf wolf character was awesome that was so yes, i also so love me a good old school gangster oh, uh yeah. goodfellas is like my favorite movie of all time super fun character yeah so that was awesome oh shit negro that's all you had to (laughs) say (laughs) like what okay it's cool calm Um, down jules i'm sending the wolf (laughs) so that's when they go and meet tarantino as well (laughs) and that whole thing in the coffee is like god i don't want to get divorced this isn't separation this isn't counseling i'm getting a divorce i'm like yeah you are home yeah like she's going to divorce me 100 percent yeah i know the coffee's good (laughs) yeah i fucking know 
wow, I buy the good shit. And what Jules is, is so this? worried about being polite. He's like, look, man. He's like, you wash your hands. You saw me wash them. I saw you get them wet. But, yeah. I was like, <laughs> like, I see you use soap. What if it was lava? Oh, God. And we also kind of learned, Shot too. Like, down. That was great. Uh, freaking Vincent still. Like, oh, it's just yeah. like, dude, like, just get your head out of your ass. Um, oh, yeah. No, no. Oh, and then, oh, what the miracle, the whole miracle part. Yeah, I love absolutely. that dialogue. And he's like, I, I want know, you. Like, was, I want you. He's like, we need to go. Like, And then he turns around and fucks shoots him in the car. He's like, are you fucking kidding me? Oh, you don't just shot Marvin in the miracle, face. And then you just, like, I, I, it just went off. Motherfucker, I'm just going. Like, oh, okay. What just happened to us was yeah. a miracle, and I want you to acknowledge it. <laughs> <laughs> it's so great. And he's talking about it. He's like, oh, so you're going to go be a bum. And yeah. it's great because now, watching the scene, we already yeah. know what happens to Vincent yeah. later in the day. And yeah. it's like, no Jules was on to something man right. it's like if you had decided as well maybe like yeah maybe this isn't for me either it's like yeah. you would be alive you would right be alive now. because he walked away when he walked uh -huh. away but you're no. gonna die later today uh -huh. right butch kills you so I really so, I think that kind of stuff elevates the it, and and gives the reason why the movie works out of order is because right. certain scenes are even more fun to know what happens later on right and you don't see them in order and then go back oh wait man if you had listened to him earlier you already are looking at a dead man yeah. and knowing that like what's gonna happen that dynamic so, should have been different as I mean, he does things have. yeah and i i do love the fact that like like they're like let's go get breakfast i was like they're gonna be in the diner that's how this all oh you around. got that like, yeah that's because it's like breakfast because i was like yeah. that couple hasn't shown up yet and everybody else has shown right. back up in some ways they have to sh they have to tie this back around and it's been opening. a long time right, and we haven't seen it since the beginning and so when they were at the diner i was like oh this is great and then i love that samuel L. jackson let him walk away i also love the fact mm. that get again Vincent, you're in the fucking bathroom <laughs> yeah we're once, again, the book. once again why did you take a book to a public, a public bathroom, bathroom yeah. be that, cool like, bro tell that bitch to chill if you don't have to shit don't go yeah that was a great one too i also thought she was gonna have, she's like i have to pee and then the way she's standing when he comes i was like yeah, yeah, is this yeah. bitch about to pee right now <laughs> she didn't but i really thought it was gonna happen i love that I was, I was completely silent for that scene like i wanted to hear what he had to say like i don't well, think it's i said incredible. anything it's seriously one it. of my favorite monologues of all yeah. time if I ever like wanted to be an actor and went to go do a monologue like I would do that one it is so good yeah. him re because like you kind of think he's being a little bl not blase but he's being like kind of quick with the whole oh that was a miracle but then you realize that he's doing like 30 years worth of rethinking because uh, like he said he's like yeah. you know I used to say that verse because I thought it was just some cold blood shit to mm -hmm. say to someone before he killed him and he's like then he recontextualizes like three times of yeah. like, well, maybe it means that I'm the weak and you're yeah, the He's like, no, I but it. I know that that ain't the truth. The truth is, is mm -hmm. that you're the weak and I'm the tyranny of evil men. Yeah. But I'm trying. I'm trying real yeah. hard, Ringo, to be the shepherd. Like, oh my God. It's so good. What an amazing way to end that movie. It was it's so just good. incredible. Um, so I get to, like, I mean, my reaction yeah. is, I like you said, like, I don't really talk too much in the reaction just because, like, I'm watching the movie and enjoying it. For and there's sure, no, yeah, yeah. like, I mean, there's only, I mean, ugh. There's a lot of face action. That's because there's a That's lot of gross fair. things going on. Yeah, but, but it's also it's a very yeah. very dense movie. There's a lot yeah. going on. So um so yeah, let's hop into some community comments real fast. Okay, cool. So first up, we've got Kevin Schultz um, is asking about. Well, he's not asking, but he's going to bring something up. In essence, what did you think before he gets into this? What are your thoughts on the briefcase and what is in it and all that? Ooh, I I think it's it's either. I think it's drugs, but I don't okay. fucking know. Okay. Yeah, like, yeah. but then when he says it's beautiful, but I'm like, mm. also his girl looks a little fucking drugged out. So and I it mean, glows on and his it glows. Face I'm and like, gold, it's yeah. like the gold. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's drugs. The popular fan theory is that it's Marcellus Wallace's soul has <laughs> been a thing that's popped around. Fair. Um, because it is literally. I don't know if you're familiar. Let me just run through for people in the audience if they don't know. Um, the phrase MacGuffin, I believe, was coined, if not popularized, by Alfred Hitchcock, and he was talking. about about like things like the Maltese Falcon is a movie and okay. it's called the Maltese Falcon and there is a Maltese Falcon but what they are is it is an item that is solely there to move the plot forward and so the best example in like a modern movie would be something like Lord of the Rings the, okay. ring, the ring is yeah. a MacGuffin um, things that don't count are things where they're actually used heavily in the movie and it does something but mm. like the case is never used for yep. anything it's just the thing everyone wants yeah um, and so the argument is that it isn't anything. It wasn't right. written with anything in mind because the whole point was just you got to get the case and the case is going to move the plot forward. Right. Um, so Mr. Kevin has said people theorize the object in the briefcase was Marcellus Wallace's soul until Tarantino stated there was nothing indirectly special inherently. I'm sorry, special about the briefcase. It was a MacGuffin. So, yeah. How do you how yeah. do you feel about that? 
like do you think the briefcase was like necessary or do you like the briefcase dislike the briefcase how'd you feel about that did that at not no, like do your head in when you're watching it at no point in time did i give a fuck okay that's fair a lot of people just, get really preoccupied I, honestly with the, briefcase. the briefcase what it shows up when they go in and then it shows up when they're leaving and well it's a um it's a question like a Chekhov's gun the... that never goes off and that's what drives a lot of people crazy oh, is okay. because right away the first time they see it it's vincent opening it and he's like uh you know like hey are we happy he's like oh we're happy and instantly most people are like oh my god what what's in it is oh it? no and then at the end he's like no. oh my god it's so beautiful and they're like what's in the bread just tell me so no, that's it, interesting it, it, that it they didn't, didn't get you, me yeah. it didn't get me at all just yeah. for simple fact because it, it yeah. It's not now if it was in the scene with Butch and it was like, yeah, besides right, right, them right. dropping it off to yeah, him, right. if it was in the scene, you know what I mean? Like farther down, if mm-hmm. like I, maybe, yeah. but there's too big of a gap for that, for the briefcase to mm-hmm. be there between that it didn't mm-hmm. impact mm-hmm. me. Like it wasn't at the date. It's not like it was like on a table during the date Certainly, or anything. Right, you know what right. I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. There's no, so many sure. places where it's not there. I know yeah. it's stuff where it's connected to yeah. all this, but but the rest of the movie is so tight in comparison. Um, I love the idea of using a literary device almost like on the nose. Right. It's like yeah. it might as well have been called the MacGuffin or the Chekhov's gun yeah, or something like that, absolutely. but it never goes off, which is really fun. And I, I think yeah. that was cool. I think it would have cheapened it if you found out it was because there's nothing with how big of a deal I think they I, I feel like they make out of the case with, again, like Vince in the beginning and then with Jules at the end where he's like, oh, my God, it's so beautiful. Um, I think that uh that just reminded me of good line of dialogue where he's like <laughs> he's like what is that oh it's my boss's washing he's oh, like, yeah, oh, he makes yeah. you do your laundry when he wants it clean <laughs> yeah <laughs> but so it's like, is it money like that's, that's what i mean that's nothing what I mean. nothing like, would have been enough though yeah. so if it was just money it would be like oh that's all it was so like it kind of needs it to be never even huge. it never even got something to me. it never even got into my skin that's honestly. interesting that's really cool i, I expected in the edit for you to constantly be going like what the fuck is up with no, this case not at all. um all right so me too has said in the face was an um, alteration added by John Travolta. It wasn't in the script, but he thought it would go over better. So when he shoots Marvin, mm-hmm. he was just supposed to say, oh, shit, I shot Marvin. Then he mm-hmm. decided that he thought it would be funnier if he says, oh, I shot Marvin in the face. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Which is cool because yeah. also like Tarantino is known in his scripts to like he doesn't really allow for improv right, or, right. or ad libs and stuff because he just is unbelievably meticulous about Absolutely. his dialogue. Yeah. And, you know, back to that talking about the Royale cheese and that never really matters and talking mm. like there's so many of those pop culture conversations. He single handedly really affected the landscape of like criminal movies, gangster movies, but like just almost all movies, huge amounts of movies after Pulp Fiction. Right. Start having these kinds of conversations where people are just talking about nothing as like a character building right. thing because he's the one who made that because everyone before him would have said the conventional wisdom is that if it's not important, they really don't need to be saying it. So right. almost every conversation should mm-hmm. have something to do with the plot. And he's like, no, people sit around and they BS Bullshit and in between stuff. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. And he just kind of nailed that. And I think um, people who've copied him have done it much worse is kind of the problem you know there's a lot a great example is like in halloween 2018 the reboot they ended up having a scene where like there's two cops who are going to die and they're really just there to die but they're having this kind of conversation about like food and they're also literally improving versus like it being like just making us uh you know it's one thing for tarantino to write this conversation it's another thing for two people to just like figure it out Mm -hmm. and you can feel the kind of hollowness where i feel like all the stupid conversations they have like even though you could cut half of them out i still just love all of them oh yeah yeah 100%. 100%. Yeah, they're super fun. Fat Laces Piccola said, oh my gosh, yes, where do I begin? Um, Quentin Tarantino is known for taking a not-so-trendy actor or actress and putting them in his films. There's more details in here that I don't think you'd be super caught up on because there's a lot of references to his other movies. But what I will say is that, yes, this one almost single-handedly like made people give a crap about John Travolta again, which yeah. is really cool for him to use it for that. Mm-hmm. Um, the other one that I want us to do for sure, we're going to do in the future, is Kill Bill, if you haven't okay, seen I've those, because that Bill. is Uma Thurman as the lead. Yeah. And they are fucking awesome so i say they because it's kill bill volume one and two yeah. what they really are is he wanted it to be like one long movie but it yeah. would have been like five hours long oh, so God. it is yeah. a two-parter but it really does feel like one movie oh, okay. the thing that's set up in the first movie is not paid off in the first movie and you have to wait for the second one oh. it doesn't feel like a sequel where yeah. it's like oh we're doing it again it's like no we're just finishing the story oh, okay and kill bill is fucking awesome but pulp fiction is like probably his most famous movie if mm-hmm. i had to argue well like i was familiar like with a little like i knew about the dancing scene didn't know yeah, that yeah. the dancing scene was a competition you know what i mean sure, like, right. like that mm-hmm. stuff like that like you know about it well, but you don't the, know there's also a lot of memes cut out of it yeah. as well for sure mm-hmm. the one of him first going into wallace's house and looking around yeah like that's a very popular meme so yeah i feel like uh the iconography from the mm-hmm. film has become very popular and it's a cool looking film yeah i mean i guess that's i'll, I'll cap it off that way with like closing thoughts basically um <gasps> 
I love how it was shot. I think right. I say it like four times in there. Like their yeah. driving scenes are cool when they're yeah. like when the camera's looking up from when they're in the trunk to like get their guns and shit. Yeah, that's like fun, I right? love that. Mm-hmm. The way the driving scene was shot with the taxi driver with Butch, like yes. and like you know what I mean? Like that noir. Clearly, yeah. yeah. Like it yeah. just it was really it's really well done and it's, I really enjoyed it. It's so much style too. Yes, he, it was a style. It, it, literally it's his signature like it's like mm-hmm. very clearly a signature and Her it's saying, done like, well. Don't be a square yeah, in the car too. I was like, what? I it's literally a, think I was like, what's just was that? We okay? haven't established okay. that yet in this I didn't movie. Know that you know? Was like, and then it just happened again, really. Right, right. It's just like it's just, oh, Yeah, he he's a he's that kind of guy where well you said you did see No, you saw Django. Okay. Yeah. Um so he he's just the kind of guy who's down to do things that are like, yeah, fuck the rules. If yeah. it's cool and it works, I'm just going to do it. And anyone else like making the movie be like, well, we can't have only one. If if, if she's going to do that there, we have to have people doing it all the time. But the thing is, it's like you, you're like, wait, what just happened? But then when it doesn't happen again, you don't even question it. Yeah, for sure. You know, because right. there's so many other mm-hmm. cool, mm-hmm. interesting ways that it's being shot mm-hmm. that you don't even think about it. I even love so. how the movie almost feels like it's mildly different genres between just yeah, the characters of people that we follow it, but, yeah. but yet again somehow it meshes so well together it really so. does it's awesome so I, it. I love it i think it's great That's um really good movie. it's definitely in my you know s tier for tarantino movies my, i think my all-time favorites reservoir dogs but like pulp fiction is so fucking good and i, I reservoir dogs either the, yeah that's his first that's almost like one Mr. Pink in yeah it is okay. yeah so yeah. i know like the illusion interesting to it, okay. but i've never seen it's it. dope it's really good and it's cool because it was like his first one so it's like his lowest budget and so it Ooh. almost works as a stage play. Like you oh, could fine. easily make, and I would be shocked if there wasn't stage plays of um, of that movie. It would be an awesome stage play. I love the theater. It's great. And it's got Steve Buscemi, who's incredible. I love him. It's got Tim oh. Roth again as the oh, lead, yeah. which is nice. And so, yeah. There's... Steve Buscemi in Fa- Fargo? <laughs> yeah, he's incredible. That might be my favorite Fargo. Steve Buscemi. I love Fargo. Oh, it's probably one of our favorite ones that we watch together. That might be another one we do in the future, too, here soon, is get back into Coen Brothers movies. Yeah, so Fargo is We hilarious. might even do kind of like a bounce around between like Tarantino and Coen Brothers, because I think oh, they're that's both That's another thing, though. S-tier. I found myself laughing so much in this again. I was like, am I this dark? Like, <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> if you're not, I find it funny. If, you don't, like, if you're not super by... squeamish and no. offended easily, it's really I'm funny. Like, so yeah. what they say, and it's just yeah. like, I think it's because like, the conference, especially during the Jules and the Vincent conversation, oh, yeah. it's like that's me. That's me and Ramsey having a fucking that's conversation. Right. You know, Absolutely like it's right. me and like my best Name friend. Drop. Like, it's like, <laughs> hey, uh, like it's me and like. One of my best friends bullshitting absolutely. about absolutely dark yeah, shit. Yeah, absolutely. Like, right, and right. it's just like, oh, okay, yeah. Well, and that's the thing about him too that I like because he's gotten he he has been like not so much now because well I don't know it depends maybe maybe he's been grandfathered in because people are kind of sensitive these days but like more media type people were sensitive back when he was making the movies yeah and he used to get crap all the time like in interviews about like mm-hmm. oh your movies are so bad and it was like he embraced the idea that like you can portray people you're not supposed to root for I'm right. not condoning Jules and Vincent and all these people. Like, like, you're so mad about like them saying something that's like maybe racist or sexist, but they also mm. murdered people in the movie, and yeah. no one was like crying about the fact no, that they're exactly. assassins, you know. And I will say, like, and it does give off the thing because, like, I'm not a big fan of the Hardy R coming out of anybody's not of course, whatever, right? But, yeah, yeah. But it's coming out of the characters not that you're not supposed to like. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? like, they're right, not right. good people. Like, they're, they're he's establishing again not good people and i'm sorry to say but that scene is one of the funniest ones to me in the movie his whole dead n-word storage scene is so funny to me it's like like, no because there wasn't a sign in front of my house you're just like also like oh i'm my also God. like on yeah. his side of it because yeah. i'm like it is rude like they just showed up like hey deal with this he's like what are you talking yeah. about oh uh, man it's good. oh god I so it. yeah i love it too and that was pulp fiction and yep. we'll go ahead and sign off catch you later see you guys